Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this October the 21st. It's hard to believe this. And Frank Barton is on assignment in Palestine, Texas, as he's uh, out there with 900 retrievers. Uh, doing the national master and one beagle and no 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 beagles in this i can tell you that and, and so that's not frank's voice that's my good friend dave gabbert uh region one yeah TWRA yeah, call in, minister call in prom- the yeah called in the a team minister yeah. of uh, propaganda as he says you know tennessee that. wildlife Sub research. for frank yeah well you know we we talked a little bit about uh cwd uh chronic well, waste disease, disease and what it can do to uh our deer population let's switch gears a little bit because uh, we really were uh, there for a period. I thought we w- were in the, uh, the apocalypse, you know, because uh, it, it just one thing after another coming in from hurricanes and also earthquakes and things along that line. And a lot of folks have asked, well, what's going on down? And we've got some good friends in the Houston area and things along that line. And for sure, we've got sure shot game calls down in Grove, Texas. And I I got a little release from the, what was happening, and we've got the man himself on the line with us, Charlie Holder, the president and CEO of Sure Shot Game Calls. Uh, good morning, Charlie. How are you guys this morning? Hey, we're hey. doing great. A great uh, fall morning here in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, I, first, before we talk about products, uh, give us an update, Charlie, from your perspective, what, how it was and what happened when Harvey came into Houston area. Well, it's really uh, it's really hard to describe in just a few words. Uh, it, it was it was just short of uh, uh, pop, a pop, you know apocalyptic. Yes, we were talking about it's uh, it, we had at my house we had sixty inches of rain, and uh, I'm twenty three foot above sea level. You know we're down here on the Gulf Coast. Yeah, and, uh, I had close to two foot of water in my house, and uh, the the rise of the water uh, after after the rain was over was what did everybody in. I mean my wife's grandparents who lived in the same place as the house is 45 years old and uh most they've ever had in, you know uh 50 years of that neighborhood is uh water to the curb and they had about six foot in their house goodness gracious and it yeah. was just it, it, it's as massive as you can ever ima- i mean you, you just can't imagine so just to give you perspective i went to get a permit down to the local county to start rebuilding our house yeah and uh the lady told me she'd been there 13 years and this storm was bigger than Hurricane Katrina, Rita, and I rolled in one. Wow. And it's probably going to trump everything they've ever had on record for a disaster and money lost um, in this thing from Corpus Christi, Texas, all the way up to where we are, which is near the border of Louisiana and Texas. So, yeah. you know, for us for us individually, uh, my house was under. Uh, we got an employee, his parents' house, at about seven foot. Uh, and that's where he, uh, he was staying. And we have another employee. Uh, they were they had plenty of water in their house. Uh, luckily, Mr. Fernandez, the founder of the company, was fine. And uh, our shop uh, didn't sustain any high water; just a little bit of water on the inside. But didn't uh, you know? Didn't keep our equipment uh, kept our equipment safe. We just couldn't get there for three weeks. For three weeks, you couldn't. Uh, did, did you even know what was going on back at your, at your shop? You didn't know how. Uh, the the building itself because you couldn't you couldn't get to it so you didn't know what well we fight. have yeah we have people that live close that were giving us updates uh just the problem was we had some parts of interstate uh 10 yeah that runs uh, east, east to west from uh, california to florida and we had parts of that road uh that highway that was 12 foot underwater just amazing I, when i saw the photographs of it and i I knew uh, I've got some friends down there that uh, live in Big Sandy, I think. Uh, no, not Big Sandy. What's the name of that? Uh, anyway, they, I got friends down there, and uh, it got them. It, it's just amazing. So a lot of folks have asked, well, how does this affect it? Sure shot. I mean, you guys, uh, with with the problems, and, and I guess you're still not in your house. Are you in your house? Are you? Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're in an RV. We're fortunate, more fortunate than most. Uh, we were uh, able to get a friend that had a, a travel trailer, a new RV, that <laughs> brought it over and put it at our house. And I've got my wife's grandparents who's in their 80s and another RV next door on my property. We're on about 19 acres. Uh, and so we've got 
we've got everything we need. We're very fortunate. The, 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 the sad part about it is there's a lot of people – Larry and the guys that uh, didn't have anything before this, and now they've got less than nothing. Less than and, uh, nothing, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the issue is that, you know, we were talking yesterday. I mean, it's going to be we'll, – we're, we're going to at least be probably to the middle of next year before they have a, a real lead on what the numbers are of the devastation. I mean, we've got – there's places in Fort Austin, Texas, uh, the Civic Center, where they're in a tent. They've got tent cities out there, um, uh. families living in the, in the FEMA tents. I mean, it is just <laughs> – it, it, you just it, you can't realize what the devastation is until you get into a neighborhood and you can't see any of the roads because there's ten foot of debris. Everybody's house is gutted as far as you can see. Kind of like what was in New Orleans, with the exception of this thing is the entire you know Gulf Coast of uh, of Texas. Just amazing. We're talking to Charlie Holder, uh, our good friend and uh, CEO and president of uh, Sure Shot Game Calls. And and where do you live, Charlie? Where is your home? Uh, I live in Vider, Texas, uh, which is Orange County, the last uh, the last county before you get into Louisiana. And it was really odd because the hurricane basically just stopped at the uh, border of Louisiana and Texas. Yeah. Um, which we're, we're glad for the Louisiana folks that didn't that didn't get it into very much into the inland there, but uh, it basically stopped. And so uh, we just we got fumbled with with the rest of the folks. But you know, it's it's uh, we're going to get back from this. Uh, yeah. T- t- uh, people are getting to. People are getting to see how, uh, you know, how the Texans uh, all pull together. Yeah. And I'm not, and I'm not going to just stop short of there. I mean, we had the entire country pulling together. We had, uh, I met some uh, game wardens from Florida. Um, we met some uh, officers from uh, the uh, the National Guard. Um, we met people that came in to help from uh, Louisiana, uh, Alabama, Arkansas, uh, Tennessee. I know we had some folks from our area. Uh, we're gone. We're down there, and uh, it still goes on. Well, well, tell me, what what about sure shot game calls? What's um, what's the status here? Because a lot of folks have asked about that. You guys make such great products, and of course, uh, with the Jensen uh, call, um, tell my my listeners that uh, what's the the status of your company. Well, we are back up and running. Uh, everybody's Great. back home, even though we're, you know, living in trailers and uh, other people's houses and apartments. Uh, we're we're back running again, full steam ahead. Uh, we're not we're not slowing down, and you know we're we're trying to make a light of it, guys. We uh, our, our calls uh, they always have worked wet, and so do we. So we're going <laughs> to continue on. So we're going to continue on. Uh, uh, you know, we, we're going to work just as wet as our calls work, and uh, we're going to continue the the uh the mantra there but uh we've got a brand new product that, yeah i know uh, we, we launched for this season and uh we lost about three weeks of advertising but i think it's coming on strong it'll be in uh one of the next ducks unlimited magazines as a review delta waterfowl has done a uh live uh instagram kyle winterstein the great of uh of uh delta waterfowl uh wildfowl will be having one of their issues uh so it's really coming on strong with the, with the marketing uh, this call is a whole lot different in the fact that we've changed up the CNC codes. Oh, um, okay. The inter- internal, the internal process of the machine that builds this thing via computer. And what we've done is we've opened up the channels um, next to the tone board uh-huh. and into the, the bottom of it. So we've allowed a, a wider and broader chamber uh, for more back pressure. And all that said and done for the for the waterfowler is it, it equals it's at least twice as loud as the last version of the one. And it's not like we've got to tell you. I mean, you can pick up the last version of the one, yeah. you can pick up the new one, and it's it's dramatic. There's no ifs, ands, or buts of, well, I kind of hear a little here. It is night and day different. And uh, we were fortunate that we were able to come up with a process to get our band this year, the band that's on the bottom that was Cerakoted last year. Uh We were able to get it out of our double A grade walnut, the exact, the wood out of our shop, the stock that we use for the Ensign Classic is that band on the new Ensign one two. Oh, really? So I don't know. I'm I'm interested to to understand because, uh, you know, I got one of those uh, Ensign uh, ones, and uh, I thought that was pretty loud. I, I, I can't imagine uh, how, how you were able to, to do that. Uh, but the, it's a Jensen 1-2. Now, that's the new thing. Is it out now, Charlie? Is it available? It is, it is available. It's in Max Prairie Wings. We've got it in stock. Roger Sporting Goods has it in stock. We have a handful of dealers 
across the country that, that happen in stock, and then they can always go to our website, yes. com to either find a dealer or order it uh, with free shipping online. And, uh, you know, we, we really thought that was a neat idea to put that uh, AA walnut uh, band that's the exact same wood as our call yeah. because it's got the, the old classic, the old Houston call uh, in the new Houston one too. So you've got the new material. <laughs> Yeah. And you've got the new sound, and then you've got the old, uh, you know, the old nostalgia uh, accent to it. And just to give you an idea, we've got a, a video on our website, Larry. We were at the uh, uh, media event for Polaris a couple of weeks ago up in Honey Break, Louisiana, uh-huh. and uh, Polaris, Polaris was unveiling their new uh, 2018 Ranger. Yeah. And while we were there, we shot a video of the Ranger, the new Ranger, running over this call on the concrete, and. We had to run over it three times to get a good, uh, get a good shot, and it never cracked. It never wavered. Oh, come on now! You, 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 you can go to the go to the website and watch it. it it's on the concrete driveway. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, my uh, one of our show sponsors is the, is the Polaris dealer here. I'm going to ask him about that. And just see if he'll go over and put one of those calls under one of his Polaris, and he'll say, <laughs> "No, I don't want to do this." Yes, it works. It, it works, works like that. Charlie, thank you, buddy. Uh, uh, I can't, but my man, like I said, uh, I had one of the Jensen ones from last year, and um, now you got me really. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready now. There's no <laughs> doubt right. about it. Well, so glad to talk to you, Charlie, and uh, God bless you, buddy. And uh, I'm glad everybody uh, and, and folks don't don't forget. I know we got all those things. Uh, we got uh, Irma and Har- and all the other ones going on, and of course uh, Puerto Rico people. But keep those people in Houston. In, in your in your prayers too so uh charlie thank you buddy we'll talk to you okay thank you gang i appreciate you guys and uh we'll talk soon all right charlie thank you know, you. Uh, you know because you know hurricanes and stuff i always think caribbean you yes. know but when they hit I, and i that's remarkable he's up and running because that's part of texas i was reading how many industries in the chemical end of it that supply the resins and the, oh yeah you know yeah. for all these products you know out amazing. there amazing it's it's amazing did you hear how much water he's how much rain he's 60 hit? inches 60 inches 60 take us out of here That's Stuart. Five foot. i feel like i'm all wet That's all taller than now. you uh it is well no, i'm taller than <laughs> five foot be right back on outdoors with larry Ray. you can find